Just about ready. They're set. 1160 meters to race here. Start of the PA and away in racing. Got the way to a good start for a field of that size. And beginning well was Blup Blup down the center. Blup Blup began well forever in my dreams away very nicely down the outside. Flying Broomstick, Secret Recipe, then came towards the inside, Liberty, towards the outside rather, Liberty Flag. Delphi Dancer behind those. Further back to Shine in Memphis, who raises about four, five lengths off the leader. Behind those, Whistle Down. Towards the inside is City Lights. Gives them six, seven lens start. Boom, boom. Further back in the field. And then came Queen of Verona, Mambo Line. But forever in my dreams as the one to catch as they come down to the 500. Goes ahead of by a length here from in second. Uh, that is Bloop Bloop. Then came Delphi Dancer in third. Liberty flag beyond that secret recipe. Forever in my dreams with 2.20 to go as the leader. Length and a half clear. Bloop Bloop is racing second. But forever in my dreams gave another kick 200 to go. And that's race over. Forever in my dreams four five lengths clear and extending from bloop bloop and liberty flag but forever in my dreams facile victory by eight or nine forever in my dreams beat bloop bloop liberty flag ran third then flying broomstick city lights and springer well done to Alec Laird, got his stable in great form. Daughter of master my fate out of the mayor Holly Point who was raced if I remember correctly by the late Eric Smith in his colours this was bred by the Rouse brothers. Well done to Trevor Rouse and the Henham stud. A 260,000 rand buy. She was clearly head and shoulders above the others. That is quite a win from Forever In My Dreams in the first leg of the place accumulator. Calvin Abib on board for Alec Laird. Well done to all the owners. Actually quite a cool story. It's a personal story which I'll share with you with uh, the owners. But well done to Gary Basil, Roland Bauer, Mr. Clark, Gainan Solutions. Well done to Dennis and Jennifer O'Driscoll and also Lynn Bauer with his daughter of Master of My Fate. Well bred by Trevor Rouse at the Henham Stud. And uh, well, I didn't see Calvin fall off. The filly was going so quickly, Calvin fell off the back. But you straight up, what was that all about? Yeah, look, I think obviously it's only her second start here and uh, she knows the shoot is to go home. So she was all alone and she thought, OK, it's, let's go home. So she turned left and luckily I was able to hold on to her. I did fall off, but I was able to hold on to her. And, and yeah, look, it was just a, such a lovely win. Um, she came out running. I actually thought I was going too hard, but she was able to prick her ears like running past the 600, sorry, 700. And um, I just waited on her. And when I asked her at the 400, I, I said something has to be really good to catch me because she gave me another good turn of foot. And... Uh, yeah, she won a beautiful race. Good luck to Mr. Led. Thanks so much for all the opportunities. You know, he's really been supporting me of late and his yard's in good form. So, you know, definitely a yard to stick with. I'm glad you mentioned the pace because there was an element of perhaps you're going too quickly, but clearly not. She's clearly got all the ability in the world. Um, but also, what about, um, you know, the fact that she was able to unwind and show that cheap speed and in terms of her development? How much more is there to come? Yeah, look, I mean, uh, I did... She only had two gallops, or I did two gallops on her, and, and we thought, you know, she, she's coming into this race, you know, maybe with her ability to be able to win, but not tuned up to win. And um, so it's just it's impressive that she could do it in that manner. And, um, you know, I'm just really grateful to be part of, part of the team. To Gary, it's taken a while for me to have a win in these colours, but we were adamant that I'll have a win in these colours, and I know this will be the first of many. So this is a special one, and uh, I think we've got a, a decent filly on our hands. Nico was right. I hate to say it. You're merely a passenger. What about the rest of your day? You've got Brechart, who I think is open to improvement. Pendragon uh, on the standside track, but sceptical. Uh, 5th of July, um, Kayla's champ and Lamo. You can't hurry, love, sadly, scratch in the last race. But can we see you again? Uh, competitive but not standouts? Yes, that's 100%. I think that was in the next race. He needed two runs to, to learn about racing. He's mentally immature. But I, I worked him in the week, and, and he seems like he's made that improvement. And uh, hopefully he can run a good race. But... Um, yeah, look, I, I still think he, he might be on the side of, of, of immature and, 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 you know, you'll get better with each run, but I think you'll run a nice race. Uh, in Glamour, he's the honest horse, he tries his best and uh, obviously he's got the weight to, uh, to carry, but um, he, he gives it his all and, uh, yeah, looking forward to riding all of them. Well done, stick with this one. Thank you so much. <laughs> well done to Calvin Abib. Alec Laird, the winning trainer. I'll chat to the owners about the story behind this filly because that was a long conversation after the sales. Um, yeah, hey, you remember yeah, now, yeah? Yes, of course, you were involved. <laughs> um, wow, that was some win because I thought, well, Calvin, is Calvin going a little bit too quick? Yeah. Clearly he wasn't. She's got something, she's got a lot about her. I guess, um, look, 
the, the way she won, I'm, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, very, it's a long story, as you say, with the sale. Gary, he, he, he wasn't maybe going to buy, and then he, he said to me... Well, she didn't. He saw the picture, he saw a picture on, the, on the internet, which goes to show it's worth putting your picture in, in, on, on, the, on the website. Because he said, he phoned me, he says, what do you know about this lot? I forget the lot two something or whatever. It was two six six or something. Something like that. I said, but so I said to him, who told you about that horse? Because I'd, I'd just seen her. The breeder begged me to look at it, and I loved it from the start. But then Gary loved the photo, and it all came together. And then Dennis also loved the filly, and Lance, Lance is, is, is Gary's partner. He, he, we all a happy team, and Uncle Uncle Raleigh took a share as well. So I'm, I'm pleased. It's, I haven't had many winners for Uncle Raleigh, so maybe he can stop. You can, you can feel a bit better about being in the stable. <laughs> in terms of pedigree, a master of my fate out of a Silvano mare. I think you trained the mother, I think, for Mr. Smith, if I'm not mistaken, it, Holly Point. What, what, what's, her, what's her limitation stamina-wise? No, because I wouldn't... Were they? Yeah, the, the, the female aren't very fast. There's a Silvano involved there, but speed. They're, they're, they're speed horses. Just Silvano by name, not by nature. <laughs> yeah. So I'm very pleased that she won like this. I, I was actually nervous. I had nothing to try her with. I haven't got many sprinters. And she worked well enough, but I, I said I started getting nervous. Saying she, she didn't get, I haven't got a line, and I, and I actually almost put people off. But Gary, was, Gary didn't want to hear. You got a line now. What about your next two, the Octagon, a, a first timer in the next race? There was a whisper about him, but he's on the drift. And then rule book in the last. What are the expectations? Yeah, look, like a first timer and, and always coming off a rest. Um, Octagon is actually quite a smart little horse, but it's taken him a while to to get fit enough to run, and. Um, I'll be happy with fourth or fifth and, and, and hope for a surprise. But he's, he's the sort of horse I think runs a bit further and, and he'll be a nice horse. And then uh, rule books coming back from a, a very big uh, colic up. Um, but he's, he's actually strengthened a bit and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he... He's surprised me before after a rest and run a good race. So I wouldn't be surprised if he's in the money. Well done, AG Racing. Thank you very much. Gary Basil coming across to uh, have a word. My wife phoned, she wants to know if, uh, any chance? Um, Alistair, I said to you that day, <laughs> I gave you the price, you didn't buy her. Oh, thank goodness I fell into something decent. Now, that was quite a win. I mean, it was almost a case of never in doubt. She showed the pace and quickened and quickened and quickened. There's so much to come. I think Calvin will be the best one to tell you about that. But it was super exciting to see at the 500 that her ears were pricked and she just seemed to go a little bit more in the hands and then, yeah, he let it go. So I don't know where we're going to go from here and what we're going to do, but it's an exciting win and I think that needs to be celebrated. Um, it's always exciting to have Lance. I don't think he's had so many winners in the last two weeks as he's had now. Uncle Roland and Dennis, unfortunately, he didn't make it today. And then the guys in Mays Doll, and they always ask us, please just give us a mention. So Mark, I did give you the, up, the heads up on Saturday. I hope you went out with us. And my lucky chum, Bianca. All a happy family. I mean, you've got a nice bunch of partners, to be fair. So, so well done, uh, Gary. To race with partners is the only way to race, Alistair. You can celebrate it with them, you can enjoy it with them, and you cry with them. So well, I'm that's the way to go. I'm excited for you with this one. Well done. Thank you very much. Thanks. Well done to Gary Basil. He's got the uh, ROA prize of 15,000. I didn't know that was coming your way. Well done. I mean, just now I'm lucky. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well done to Gary Basil. Part of the winning uh, ownership, well done to Lance Clark, Roland Bauer, and the rest. And the winning groom is Nelson, who has gone to uh, see to his horses. Very special looking horse. So Moffat's going to come and collect the prize on behalf of Nelson. Moffat was at Hollywood Bet Scottsville yesterday. Here again, look in, in the suit. You were suited yesterday, suited and booted, like you know something. Yes, I was nervous. Uh, I'm so sorry, excited. I can't even talk. Uh, but uh, I'm so happy when Mr. Kerry won with this feel like nice like this. Because it's the one he closed the gap for Mr. Late Chris Heber. He's the one who's supporting us a lot. Well done, Mark. I'm certain. Well done. Can we collect the prize? And uh, that will go the way of Nelson, who is the winning groom, Moffat here, to uh, collect. Moffat, of course, is uh, the Alec Laird right-hand man, as we uh, know them so well here on the half out. That's a very, very, very nice win. She's going to do some damage this season, I'm sure.